Welcome to Home Tech Adventure. With this tutorial, I will show you how to change the mouse scroll direction on Windows 10 to Natural Scroll. What is Natural Scroll? If you use a tablet or a phone and you are scrolling, you push the page up to go up and you push the page down for the page to go down. On the computer, it normally works backwards. You push the mouse wheel up and it goes, the page goes down. You push the mouse wheel down and the page goes up. That's a little bit confusing, especially for really young people that are just learning to use a computer for the first time. So I think it's really worth it to switch the direction. Now on the Mac, it's super simple. You just go into the system preferences and you choose the mouse control panel and there's a little switch for the natural scroll option. So you can do that easily. But on the Windows computer, it's a little bit more complicated, but definitely worth doing for those young people and maybe for you too. Let me show you how to change the mouse scroll direction on Windows 10 to natural scroll. At the end, we're going to show a bonus to make it a little easier too, because you might have to do this again after a Windows 10 update. To start, believe it or not, we're going to open up the notepad. I have it right here on my desktop. And then we're going to go into the device manager, DEV, and it should come up if you do a search for that. And just double click, open that control panel. And it's behind here, so we'll get that. You want the mice and other pointing devices, and you have to choose your mouse here. Now, I only have one mouse, and it just says HID compliant mouse. So I'm going to double click that, and we're going to go to details. And then you have to choose device instant path from this menu and that's what we need. So I'm going to copy that. So I'll right click and choose copy. I'll go over to my notepad and I'll choose paste. Now I have that in there. I'm going to hit enter because I'm going to put something else there in a second. So let's leave that notepad open. Um, let's actually save it. Uh, we're going to save and let's put it in, uh, let's call it paths text. Just click save. It already exists, but we'll replace it. Okay, so we got that from the notepad. Let's close that. And the next thing that you need to do is you need to do a registry edit. So you're going to registry editor, just type in REG on the search, you should find it, and run as administrator, and click yes. I don't know if you could see that, but I clicked yes. Again, it's behind here, so we just go back there. Now on the registry editor, you need to go into H key local machine, then you know, need to go into system and current control set and enum and HID. And then you have to choose your particular mouse. And that's why we copied this. Because then we have a record of what we do, what we need. VID 046D ampersand PID C069. And if you look, that's the first one here. So I double click on that. And then we have to choose the rest of the path which is 8 ampersand 221 BB. So that's this first one here. So we'll double click that. And then we have to click device parameters. You can double click or single click. And we need the flip flop wheel. And you double click the flip flop wheel and you change the zero to one. I've already done it here. But if this is normally a zero, you just change it to one. And then you click OK. And that is changed. Now, the you have to restart for the change to take effect, but what about the shortcut? The shortcut is copy this. So right click and choose copy and then paste it into your text document because then when you have to redo it, all you have to do is paste it into there. Let me show you. All right, I've reset the registry editor to just the computer, the original scene. If you just click there and right click and choose paste, copy the path from our text document, and you hit enter, it just goes exactly where you need it. You can just change the flip flop wheel. Now, to make this a little bit easier, down in the description, I have a copy of this original path, which is the generic one. You can just copy that from the description, paste it in here, hit enter, and voila, you have all the stuff up there. And then you have to choose you know, your own mouse and do it the way I showed you. And that will make it a little easier for you. I hope you learned something today and hopefully you were successful in doing it. Please like and subscribe if you want more of these videos and please share it with others on social media if you can. It would really help me out and make sure to have fun on your own home tech adventure.